Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pagey, here once again with another video on The Flash Season 6. And this is going to be my trailer breakdown for episode 13 for this season, otherwise entitled, Grod Friended Me. But of course, before we get into anything else, let's actually watch that goddamn trailer. Or should I say, Grod Damned Trailer. Yep, I'm angry at myself for saying that. Let's just watch it. This whole bunch has changed after crisis. It just feels like a piece of me is missing. I can't help you if you won't talk to me. Why am I in a cage? Use your signs. What the hell is going on? Cranky. Rod wants Flash to die. The Flash, new episode next Tuesday at 8, 7 central, only on The CW. So, wow. Wow. I think that's probably the most intriguing trailer that we've had this season, outside of maybe for episode two. And maybe episode seven as well, but damn, I love that trailer. And there's lots to go over in this video. You might think there's not much, but there actually is a decent amount. So we better get into it. But just firstly, you would have noticed new intros over the past week or so. I want to shout out Jamal Haynes. He made those trailers for me. I did, um, uh, not trailers, he made those intros for me. I did shout him out in my review yesterday, but I thought I'd give him another shout out in this video. Go check out his Twitter. Contact him if you want a new intro, if you do YouTube or anything like that. Any, any sort of graphic de uh, design, you saw those intros. They're pretty damn sick. Um, so yeah, go check him out. Links in the description for him. The last episode was obviously the introduction of the Sue Dearborn to hopefully in the future become Sue Dibney character as well as some stuff with Iris in the Mirror World or as they're calling it um, for the Flash, the Mirrorverse. Um, it's the Mirror World in the comics, so but I guess we'll call it the Mirrorverse if that's what they're going to go for. But the episode obviously did end with um, Sue uh, having a diamond and of course it has some black hole stuff on it and she's also after Joseph Carver, so it'll be interesting to see where that goes and if that's tapped in into like this episode or we might have to wait a few more weeks to come back to that storyline but of course we also did see um some development with iris potentially getting out of the mirror verse uh with eva mcculloch because we probably got introduced to her in that episode as well but before we go over the breakdown of the trailer we will quickly read out the synopsis for the episode which actually has a lot more in it um than the trailer so it's actually pretty interesting that there's so much in the synopsis but i wouldn't say a lot revealed in the trailer compared to it but of course, throughout the video, if you want to leave all of your various thoughts, opinions, theories, any of that in the comments section down below, and also what you're looking forward to most in this episode would be awesome if I could hear your opinions down there. And of course, if you're going to enjoy the video uh, and uh, you're looking forward to this episode and you're excited by it, why not drop a like on the video to show support and excitement. Feeling overwhelmed with all the changes since Crisis, Barry conducts an experiment that goes awry and puts him directly in Gorilla Grodd's path. Expecting the worst, Barry is surprised when Grodd asks for his help. Unfortunately, for both the Flash and Grodd, things get worse when another villain appears, Solovar. Meanwhile, Iris works with Eva to escape the Mirrorverse. But um, yeah, let's just jump into the breakdown of the trailer. So we begin with, this whole world just changed after Crisis. Now this is said by Barry, I think that's what he says, it's roughly that, but we'll just go with it. So that's said by Barry, and as the synopsis does say, Barry will be overwhelmed by all the changes after Crisis. Now, you might be thinking, okay, well what the hell, is he just realizing this? Now, you would hope that, you know, Barry just doesn't come to all of this and his brain randomly just, oh, just accepts all this change from crisis and just pops up in his mind. You would hope that's not the case. And I don't think we need to worry and, you know, you know, just worry about that in general, as this is the episode where Cisco will return. Uh, Eric Wallace said that Cisco comes back in episode 13. So Cisco will most likely return from his trip that he went on at the end of episode 10. I'm assuming it was it was 10, wasn't it? Um, so he comes back on that trip with a list of various changes that will probably blow some minds. You know, I'm assuming it will blow our minds, but specifically for this episode's story, it will blow Barry's mind. Um, but what changes could there be? Now, I think you could sit here and theorize about what changes there could be. And maybe one or two of them might end up on there, but you have to assume that Cisco's done a decent amount of traveling over that time. So he would have had a, you know, have a decent amount of changes there. I'm intrigued to see what it is. It could just be that certain characters are alive and various things like that, or certain places that we thought weren't there are here. And maybe a, a character didn't die in a certain time and various things like that. I'm excited to see what Cisco reveals. I don't think they'll spend too much time on it. But I'm sure there'll be enough revealed that Barry goes, oh, crap, I need to do some stuff. But you do see a screen with the name of Gorilla Grodd and some readings appear around that. Now, the trailer does make it seem like it's Chester uh, P. Runk, who is back for this episode, as we see in the trailer, as well as Camilla. Um, I guess it's random that those two are just in the cortex by themselves. But based off the editing, it makes you think it's them. But as you can tell by the sleeve on the left of the screen, when you know Gorilla Grodd and the readings appear, it's actually Caitlin who we see later in the trailer. But we'll come back to Caitlin. 
and that version of Caitlyn in a second in this trail in a second in this trailer because it's got a lot to it that some people aren't figuring out for some reason. Now we do see Barry put in like a an earpiece of sorts, well, like in his ear, and it seems to be in the same environment in which we first see your boy Gorilla Grodd in the trailer, and he has like the, the headpiece thing, and as, as you can see, like the the lights in the background seem to be in the similar, or at least or even the same as like in the background of Barry's shot where he's putting the earpiece in. We of course do see Barry arrive in Gorilla City in the flash shoot and everything like that and see him even like run, I think from Central City, I think it was. Now it will be interesting to see what brings him to Gorilla City exactly, whether it's something that Cisco tells him or something along those lines, or maybe he's just running around the earth in general, you know, looking at different changes. I'm curious to see what brings him to, you know, to, in, uh, to Gorilla City, you know, exactly because it doesn't say in the synopsis or even in the trailer, like, oh, I got a reading from Gorilla Grodd or Gorilla City or something that takes him there. It's just that he's doing an experiment, things go bad or go awry, and he just ends up in Gorilla City and in, in Gorilla uh, Grodd's path. So, intrigued to see how all that happens. Hopefully, it makes sense and it's not just for convenient storytelling, but um, yeah, I'm excited to see how it, how it all happens. But the big, uh, oh, that's an interesting uh, part in the trailer is, of course, when we have Barry in a goddamn cage and we have uh, Caitlin, when we'll go back to her in a second. And goddamn Wellsabard, or the Eobard Thorn version of Wells, or at least we should suspect it's him, but it's it's him. But um, yeah, this obviously isn't present day. Um, this is flashback stuff. You can tell because Caitlin looks like season one Caitlin, and that's Wellsabard, and he's standing. So it's not even season one stuff actually. It's pre season one. This is pre Particle Accelerator. So this is when they were doing the testing on Grodd, um, and he was in that cage. And obviously, if you think back to season one when they had the whole thing where Grodd's cage was open, so he'd escaped. Um, so this is before Wellsbard gets in the wheelchair, and technically at this point, even a character like Ronnie Raymond is still alive. Would it, you know? It would be cool if he cameos, but I highly doubt it. But you never know; he could. It could be a little surprise for the episode. But what is going on here exactly? Well, you couldn't think. Oh, okay, maybe Barry's time travel, but he's in a cage. Like, what would? Why does that make sense? Well. It's actually Grodd's memories, most likely, and that's the whole point of the earpiece. So Barry's probably putting like this earpiece in that's probably going to give him Grodd's memories. Like Grodd can, you know, do the telepathic thing, but would Grodd be able to give Barry his memories? Unlikely. So maybe this will explain some changes to Grodd's origin in this new Earth Prime timeline. Maybe things happened back then that were different, but it's also important to remember Barry wasn't around back then. So maybe some stuff happened here that's important to explain. It'll be interesting to see what happens here and why Grodd puts Barry in the scenario and gives him these type of memories. But yeah, Caitlin and Wells are actually talking to Barry like he is Grodd, you know, talking about like hand signals and going, ooh, cranky and stuff like that. I think there might be some funny interactions here where Barry's like, well, I'm not a freaking dog. It wouldn't surprise me if there's some sort of thing like that. I wonder how long it'll take Barry to realize that he's Grodd in this situation. But yeah. Now, of course, we do have Grodd appearing behind Barry in the cage and saying like Grodd wants Flash to die, but... Does he really? Like, does he really want him to die? I think this is just something the trailer does, you know, mixing some dialogue together to make it, make it, you know, seem deadly, I guess. Like, it could be saying, Grodd wants Flash, and then, like, someone else is saying to die, or it's in a different um, scene where the words to die are said and it's just mashed together. They do that all the time in trailers, so it wouldn't surprise me if that's the case here, because I don't know why the Grodd would want Flash to die here, because it sounds like they're going to be teaming up. Now, we do have Nash and Allegra with... A device of sorts that seems to blow up or at least malfunction in some way. There seems to be some sparkage going on. I'm not 100% sure what's going here, but maybe it has something to do with what Nash is going through lately. Maybe they're trying to get some reading or figure something out. I'm not too sure what's going on here, but it seems that Nash and Allegra will have some sort of side plot. It seems there's actually going to be a, a lot going on this episode because we're also going to have some stuff with Iris and Eva, which we'll talk about in a second. But yeah, hopefully this isn't hopefully they don't skip over the Grodd and Flash stuff. Hopefully there's at least a focus on that because it has been a bit of an absence from, well, Barry and Flash stuff over the past, you know, few episodes. So hopefully they don't skip over that too much. But yeah, the synopsis does talk about Iris working with Eva to escape the Mirrorverse or as I said before, the Mirror World, which, which it should be called. Now, will they escape this episode? Maybe? Like, it is hard to tell. They could keep this whole storyline in the Mirror World or Mirrorverse going for a couple more episodes if they want it to serve the story better, especially with that fragmented version of Iris that's, you know, walking around in the real world at the moment. Um, but they did make a lot of 
uh, you know, a lot of uh, development, I guess you could say, in getting out with like Eva discovering she has powers and everything like that, rebuilding the mirror. So if they were to get out of this episode, it wouldn't be too surprising, but it matters how much of the episode will they dedicate to that storyline. That's the big question. Maybe they do it, get some leeway in this episode and make some headway, might I say, into getting out. And then next episode, they actually finally get out. Um, but Wally is back next episode. Maybe Wally appears at the end of this episode as well as like a cliffhanger. I'm, so, I'm excited to see what they do there because the next episode after this is called Death of the Speed Force. So get excited for that. Um, but yeah, I'm intrigued to see how all of that happens and whether they get out or not. Because hopefully, I sort of hope them. I hope that they don't get out next episode or this episode. Hopefully, it's in episode 14 and they can like just give them enough time, you know, to make it make sense and work through it properly. So we will have to wait and see what they do there. But They've already made the episode. We can't change it. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, it'd be awesome if you could drop a like on it, show support, and I guess excitement for what's coming in this episode. Let me know in the comments section down below your various opinions, what you're looking forward to the most, and maybe some theories you have as well. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And um, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.